Hey everybody, welcome to She Prayer Journal's um, video. It's for my weekend workshop that I've not been posting on my website at GinaDude.com. I've gotten so far behind and I'm just doing the best that I can. But thank you for tuning in to this video. I'm using my book, Organizing Your Prayer Closet, A New and Life-Changing Way. My publisher is Abingdon Press. And it includes a structured prayer journal, which is really the only thing I cared about publishing, but they had me write five, or not five, ten chapters about prayer. Each one talks about each compartment that I've outlined in this structured prayer journal. We have recently uh, re-released it and um, with a new cover and a new chapter. So this was actually, when we released it in 2013, it became 2014's best book on prayer by Christian Retailing. It has done extremely well. And so they wanted to put another cover on it, add some more material, because it's just been selling like hot cakes, praise the Lord. And so I have been enjoying decorating mine. So I'm using the original one. I'm using this one. You can, there might be a few copies left on Amazon that's this one. Um, it's a little bit different than the new one, but this this is what I have, and and um, and so I've been I've decorated the cover. It's kind of like a junk journal inspired prayer journal. I just decorate all the pages, and so, anyways, I, I love. It. I'm gonna tell you, I this is probably one of my favorite setups. You're gonna continue to see this, but what I did here, first of all, I bought this tube of decorative tape at Hobby Lobby. And so I have used this floral, I have used this little brown paper-like looking through the middle here. And then on the side I use this. And it's kind of got a romantic feel to it because I use Tim Holtz Ideology, but it's this transparent vellum paper. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like you will be seeing more of this paper in my prayer journals. I don't know how I'm going to do it. May do it the same as I've done it now. May do it a little bit different. I am in love. I just, like, I love the way it feels. Um, anyways, I know some of you might think that's crazy, but some of you get me. Some of you get me. Well, anyways, look at this. Just, I love it. It's transparent, so you can kind of see the other side. And, um, I just felt like it had a very romantic feel to it. I also bought these at Hobby Lobby. These little, it was on sale, $1.50. And I love these little, I don't know what you call them, cameos, I guess. And um, so I put this pinkish one. It may look purple on camera, but it's got this pink iridescent, I guess. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of like back in that age, I guess. It's kind of what I was going for. And, uh, but anyways, this is a very light week in prayer journaling for me. I don't know what happened there, but I enjoyed it. Like, I just, I could have just sat here and rubbed on this piece of paper, I guess, and prayed. But, um, I don't have as, as much, in, as many entries as I normally do. So this is a very light week for some reason. Um, this is a section where I give God praise and thanksgiving. This is the section where I have freedom and forgiveness, where I write down what I'm struggling with. Um, I did have a temporary bout of discontentment. You know, we can go through that, whether it's our house, it's our job, it's our, you know, whatever it could be, you know. And so I did have a temporary bout of that, and I just want to acknowledge that. Because, you know, Paul says in all things, he learns to be content. And... Um, and then um, oh, I resisted temptation. I don't remember exactly what this was about, but I did put a little cross here because I am uh, playing around with uh, some little stickers that I've had created. I've got a little designer, a little college girl, and um, so I've been playing around with them because eventually I want to get them on my Etsy store. And I just thought I wanted to mark that. You know, like when Israel went through things, like they marked it. You know, when they came through, what was it, the Jordan... Um, Across the Jordan and um, into the promised land with Joshua leading them and after that they set up some stones a memorial so these stickers are like this memorial you know like hey I want to remember there was a time I overcome the temptation um, 
Then I've got just a couple of prayer requests. These are some people I'm praying for. Uh, one is a couple that I'm praying for to have uh, peace and protection. And the other is where uh, my, my husband's uncle died and I'm praying for his family. But it was kind of an uneventful week, as you can see. I don't even, I'll pray for the bereaved family the rest of the year with this other couple that I'm praying over. I have not seen it resolved. You know, I haven't, I don't know that for what I'm praying that I'll see the result. Results. Sometimes God is good to really give me a glimpse into things I'm praying over, things like that, that maybe wouldn't normally be my business that I'm going to ask somebody about. And so sometimes he's good to, you know, give me a glimpse in some way. And, and he's done that throughout the years. But those were the two main things I was praying about. And, of course, I'm praying through also all the things I've gotten logged into my structured prayer journal because I do go back and pray over things that have not been answered. But these were the two new entries for this week. And, I, and like I said, there's no answer. Um, I just made a couple little notes here. These are my additional notes. Um, one I would love to share with you, but it's so private. I just I, I haven't figured out how I would share it without. Um, uh, well, I just don't know how to appropriately share it, so I just won't. And some things, you know, that God does, it's just for me and not to share it. And it's just for you. Some things, there's things you, it would be too weird if you tried to share it with someone <laughs> or they wouldn't be able to understand or anyway. So, but it, it was the coolest thing because it's something I've been grum kind of complaining to the Lord about. And he just showed me that. In, in in the past, he has said no to me on this particular thing before. And um, so it's it's come back up in a whole different way. And I was kind of grumbling about it. And the Lord's like, no, when I said no, you know, uh, gosh, I could have been like 21, 22. So he's like, you know, when I said no 20 something years ago, I still mean no today. <laughs> and I just remembered He's, he's the same today, you know, yesterday, today, and forevermore. And it was just funny how that whole thing came back out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You already said no about that. So why should I think in this circumstance you would say yes? So anyways, um, my heart, my passion, um, you know, I put some things here that I'm just that's on my heart or maybe things I'm passionate about. Here's the ambassador notes. Here's some people that I actually uh, witnessed to this week. And I did not have any insight and updates. Nothing new came up. So this is kind of a pretty, you know, um, short video because uh, as far as a lot of things to share with you, I don't have that much except I love this transparent vellum paper. And you will probably see it some more periodically. I don't want to overdo it, so i got to figure out how to use it going forward. But you may see it just like this. I need to do it ever so often because I loved it so much. So if you haven't done this, you should try it because it is translucent and it just makes a nice little little cover page there. It's just really neat. So I'll have to find some other ways to use it. But uh, So thanks for stopping by. And uh, until we see each other again or you see me again, um, I, do wish, I do hope that you plan to pray and happy prayer journaling.